Hi guys, Carl here from Outdoor Vancouver, and today we're hiking on Sugar Mountain near Belcara Park in Port Moody. The Sugar Mountain Loop is a moderate hike. It takes about three hours to complete. It's about a little over seven kilometers long and has about 300 meters of elevation gain. The trail itself begins near Sassamat Lake. You would park in the same parking lot as if you're going to White Pine Beach. And the trail just picks up on the north side of the, the road there as you get into the park. The trail initially carries up into the woods away from Sassamat Lake, heading towards Bunsen Lake in that direction. It carries uphill until you reach a deactivated service road, which you climb up for the initial part of the hike. As you start to near the top of Sugar Mountain, the trail will actually loop back, become a more technical single track section of trail as you traverse Sugar Mountain on the Sugar Mountain Ridge Trail. If you live in or near the Tri-Cities, it's a nice place to come for a quick outing, maybe on a rainy day, that kind of thing. And the nice thing about this hike compared to some of the other nearby trails like Jug Island or Diaz Vistas or the Bunsen Lake Loop is it's a lot less traffic, so it's a nice and quiet loop and it can be a lot more peaceful than some of those other nearby trails. One thing that can be a potential uh, downside to this hike is right now we're hiking this um, in the winter in January. In the summer, obviously Sassamat Lake can be a bit of a zoo with all the beach goers going to White Pine Beach, uh, which might make parking in the area not a lot of fun. So that's just one thing to uh, potentially watch out for if you're going to do this hike in the summer, especially on a weekend. From the lookout, the trail descends back down across the other side of the mountain, at which point you connect back down to that deactivated service road and complete your loop, and then finish off the remaining little stretch of the hike back to your car in the parking lot. If you want to download the GPS tracks and read the step-by-step -step route description for this hike, you can check out the full guide on our website. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video down below. So if you're in the Tri-Cities and you want to check out something short and sweet, but a little bit different, off the beaten path, nice and quiet, Sugar Mountain definitely fits the bill. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.